Okay, I just ate a granola bar really fast. I ate a Quest bar, which are not technically dairy-free. They have like milk protein in them, but they're gluten-free. Um, and mostly, I mean, they're lactose-free, but not milk protein-free. Anyway, um, I have been eating these often on 75 Hard, and then I've been drinking a little bit of water. But I stopped by um, GNC to get more Alani New Energy drinks. That's what I do for pre-workout every day. I ended up mixing and matching because I want to try a bunch of new kinds. I haven't tried any of these flavors yet. And then I got a couple more Quest bars in there. But we are leaving on Tuesday for Mexico. And I got my toenails done on my birthday like a week ago. And I need to get my fingernails done. So they look really bad right now. Um, so I'm going to go get them done if they have time for me. And I'll show you guys when I'm done. But this is not a normal day in the life. I'm not like treating myself every day. Um, but I just had to run some errands and get my nails done for Mexico. But I will get home and be productive around the house like I do normally every day. And then do my second workout probably in a few hours. It's 11.30 right now. Um, and so by the time I'm done here, it'll be like 12.30-ish. I'll be home by 1 for sure. And then I normally walk sometimes at like 2.30. But usually I go at like 4 and I take one of the dogs with me. So that's what I'll probably do. Okay, so I'm normally like a neutral gal. I do grays and nudes and light pinks if I get my nails done. Maybe black if I'm feeling crazy. Um, but Mexico, you know? Wanted to be fun, so my toes and my fingers are the same color. Number 13, DC, whatever their brand is, um, the salon. But very, very bright, very not like me, but I figured since Mexico, the perfect excuse. Uh, my mother-in-law got me a gift card for car washes for my birthday because my birthday was like a week ago. Um, and I'm getting my car detailed tomorrow morning actually. <sighs> the guy I have come to my car. Um, he comes to your house which is really nice so he's just gonna do the interior but I'm right next to the car wash so I'm gonna stop by and get my car washed with this gift card. Productive. Day. And then I have to go get some more groceries and then I go home and take care of the dogs. video now so I finished 75 hard successfully finally I started this last year 75 hard and with Garrett and we didn't finish we made it to like day 36 or something like that I'm gonna do a whole video where I talk about my experience with 75 hard and just answer any questions that you guys might have talk about my results and share my before and afters with you but this was truly life-changing in so many ways. Um, I lost 15 pounds and I've been struggling to lose weight ever since I got off birth control a couple of years ago, like a year and a half ago. And um, so many other things. I gained my mental strength back. My mental health is coming back and I'm feeling a lot more like myself. Um, but I finished 75 hard, I think on February 12th. Today is February 25th. We ended up going to Mexico the next week um, which you guys saw in the video and that was really fun. I ate pretty clean the whole time we were there Worked out a few times while we were there and um, Had drinks which was another thing I'll talk about um, In that video where I recap everything, but anyway, it was a good experience I loved 75 hard and I'm obsessed and I honestly want to just keep doing it, but I 
Um, ended up writing myself a different plan that I'm following now that I will share in that other video where I recap everything. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys it was 100% worth it. I will be doing a video where I talk about my experience. And so if you have any questions about 75 hard, um, how my experience was, any of those things, I'm gonna put them in that video. So go ahead and put them in the comments below. And follow me on Instagram at Tate Terrell. I have a whole two highlight bubbles on my Instagram uh, where I started taking footage on day like 35, like I was like almost halfway um, when I started recording things. So I have two highlights called 75 Hard and 75 Hard 2 on there that you can watch my experience. Um, and then I have a lot of stuff on TikTok as well, and it's Tay Terrell underscore. So anyway, if you're interested in going to check those things out, go ahead and do that. Leave any questions you might have down below about 75 Hard or DM me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.